Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. Today we're going to take a deep dive into a new singer, Tom England. I first heard him a few months ago singing a song with Silent Skies, and I immediately thought, dang, he sounds like he's got incredible vocal talent and range. I need to hear more. So today, we're going to take a first-time listen to the band Evergrey, in which Tom is also the lead singer, starting with their new single, Save Us. Let's get to it. Woo! Yeah, Napalm. Before we get this vocal entrance, which sounds really cool, um, I want to go back to the beginning and listen to this instrumental intro one more time. I'm also really drawn in immediately to whatever this story is going to be that they they share. Very curious how there's lots of liquid, essentially, at the beginning. There was the, the symbol. There was some liquid that bounced off of it. Um, but there's also bloody and... And different settings, really cool cave setting it looks like for the musicians to play in. It's so fun to play in a cave, by the way, because of the cavernous resonance. Really, really, really cool. So I want to go back one more time. I feel like I want to catch that story just a little bit more. There's so much energy right away. I'm so happy that I'm digging into his voice right now because there is so much amazing that is happening. His voice has got the beautiful, beautiful um, power in it that is balanced by just, a, there's a clarity in the tone, but there's also warmth in it. It's got so many different aspects of uh, an incredible tone quality that I really like. Um, not to mention, his runs are really cool. I like it. I like it when I hear fast runs added into metal. It's not super common that you hear that. And I think it's such a cool extra thing to add. It's just a, a personal preference, probably. <laughs> so anyhow, I really like that. And he's got a great line, too. Let's go back around here. We were a little bit further. <laughs> He's so specific about how he ends phrases. Let's look. We're just going to talk about the endings of phrases for a little bit because he is so very clear in how he shifts them. And I think he's really paying attention to how he wants to express the end of a word. We were out of so that time he did almost a little cry, a little break in his voice out of control, almost like the voice lost control. Really cool. One more time. We were out of control. <laughs> we got lost when we to feel. And feel the way he 
he almost adds like a little diphthong in there. And it has a certain longing in it because of the way he chose to take it up on pitch at the very last moment. <laughs> and fear, uh, the way he cut it off after just hitting a note that was lower, almost like there was a gasp of fear, and then save us, he does that a more extended run for the first time. Um, it makes sense that Save Us, being the title of the song, he would extend it here and add a little embellishment to it. Okay, I'll go back just a little bit and then keep going. Just listen to the ends of the phrases. He keeps doing it. They did a fascinating thing with production right here where I don't know if this was a chorus or not, but it felt more chorusy to me. They took the lead vocal instead of having it really center the whole time and really present, they expanded it. It felt more like a choir, like more voices were really singing in there. Um, I think we probably have at least two different voices or two different people, but then lots of layers, maybe a couple more in there, I'm not sure. Um, and it expanded out. So it felt more like the us part of it. Tom, when he first started singing, felt like a direct line to me. He has a directness in his voice in a way to immediately, um, I think, tap into a single person giving a message. And that was really effective to draw me in right away to the song. Then when we get to this part, I feel like I'm expanding to be included in this us, whatever that us is. And I think that that production technique and also the way that they're laying the vocals with so many different harmonies, uh, it's very effective and making me feel like I'm more a part of their song instead of just being spoken to. It's really cool. I'm going to go back a little bit uh, and listen Listen to the way that feels like more chorusy, essentially. Definitely spread out wider. I really like the epic feel and the hopeful feel that that had as well. Okay, keep going. melody composition on this. It has that soaring melody. Feels like there's a lot of story being told in this. I really, I love the delivery of it too. The words are so clear. It's interesting. And this part, it starts, we've lost all control, fallen in our holes, our hearts forged in the darkness and the cold to fit the molds 
we are chasing. When I read through these lyrics the first time, I thought, this is interesting. I feel like this is maybe tapping on social media. And then after a little more digging, this quote came up from Tom, what he said about the song. He said, save us is about us. It's about you and I. It's about how I see our minds becoming hostages in a world where painting optimal portraits of ourselves is more important than being who we really are. That's an amazing quote. That's very profound and extremely relevant to the times, especially as more and more of us are existing online more and more. So we can have online personas, and sometimes I think there can be a need to sort of live up or create a persona that maybe isn't actually who you are. And I've, I've seen this happen with lots of people where they then feel they need to live up to that. And um, it becomes more important to live up to this image that they've created than actually just being who they are and letting themselves evolve and be quirky and nerdy and fun. <laughs> so I thought it was just such a keen image. And then when I look back at the words in here and think about it through that lens, I really, really dig the depth. And I hope that other people listen to this and are encouraged to just stick to their authentic selves because uniqueness is irreplaceable. Back a little bit here. Oh, oh just a little more. <laughs> we lost our identity traces and all we fought for is wasted oh my gosh it's just that's so keen <sighs> very very well constructed lyrics and beautiful long melody to go with it that just soars Okay, I have no doubt that there is an epic instrumental solo coming up that we're gonna hear. Let's talk a little bit about the harmonic construction in this chorus. I find it fascinating that when they get to save us the first time in the chorus, you have parallel octaves. That helps that line stick up more. Parallel octaves, by the way, it's where you have two pitches by the same letter name. So say C and C, but maybe the number afterwards is different. So maybe you have C3 and C4. And when you have parallel octaves, that means that you'll hear on the bottom part and on the top part, the same names of notes moving. They're just an octave or, you know, one number apart, essentially. And then the other harmonies we hear tend to be more thick harmonies. So we're getting things filled in like thirds and fifths or sixths. Those are common uh, harmony notes to choose. And it will make the texture often feel a little bit thicker. But when you get to those parallel octaves, because there's this natural, uh, essentially like sympathetic vibration that's happening between the notes, um, it ends up having that phrase stick out a little bit more. And then when we hear Save Us later, I think it's just in the upper part, we lost a little bit of thickness in the harmony. And then at the end, it, it's drawn out and a little thicker again. Let's go back, listen to that. So thicker harmonies here. Here's the parallel octaves.
That's unison. And then you got the thicker harmony on that one. Cool. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, cool. I liked uh, some of those long slides in there and then a little bit of pitch bending too. Really cool to see uh, that Tom is also extremely talented at playing. Uh, back one more time, there was this really it reminded me almost of a, like a boing happening in a cartoon. It was really fun. It was a fun sound. <laughs> I like it. Interesting shift again. It is also really interesting to me that they've added harsh vocals in on Hey, Save Us. There's a fierceness to that that really works within the energy of the entire song uh, and feels very contrasting to those soaring melodies and intricate runs at the same time. So I feel like I'm getting a lot of fun vocal elements plugged into the same song. I also want to mention that they have a progressive feel, but they still come back to choruses. And I'm really enjoying how um, this is molding together, uh, especially with the beautiful melody. It, it, there's a lot of great elements that have gone into this song. I like it. That was a really cool way to transition back into the chorus. They essentially dropped the instruments out and then just had vocal layering for a bit. Ah, there, were, there was an instrument in there, but a very light one, not any of the more distorted, heavy instruments. Done. I think ultimately there comes a point in a lot of metal music where you've had a blast of sound the whole time and you need to clear your ears to really appreciate how energetic the music is when it comes back in. And it also allows you to hear some of the more delicate parts just a little bit more clearly. So super smart compositional decision here. Talk a little bit about some of the production sound I hear in the lowers as well. I think it's going through a couple of different plugins there to give it a slightly more electronic feel. And I find that really fascinating. I, I personally really enjoy um, some of the ways that we're hearing vocals manipulated and folded into tons and tons of different arrays. I hear a little bit of that happening in the bottom here. I think it works with their sound overall, and it especially works because we have such an organic feeling from Tom's voice in other areas. This, um, it's like almost like a Porter Robinson kind of 
feel not not that electronic, but it has just a slight tinge to it. And it gives them a different feeling overall that I think is gonna set them apart moving forward. I'm gonna go back to that part again. It's a beautiful picture. Whoa. I really dig the power in his voice and the way it's combined with the vulnerability and the way he can sing gorgeous long lines but then add in really, really fast agility with these runs and pick out fun ideas for how to end phrases. He's obviously a very talented and purposeful vocalist. Then add to that that the band has really good production overall. I'm fascinated by some of those electronic elements, how they're weaving them into this unique sound, and also the progressive elements. Really, really cool direction. On top of that, the movie is great. That last, that last view in particular was just stunningly gorgeous. I have to shout out to Napalm. You guys have a really, really awesome artist here, and you have tons of awesome artists. And by the way, everybody, if you wanna see some other artists from Napalm, you can check out this playlist over here. They really, truly have an amazing roster. I hope to see you all somewhere soon.